Okay, welcome back. This is the third video in this uh, series. Um, and this is where I'm going to talk about the second thing that I found that helped. Um, so last time I was talking all about breathing and how incredibly important that was. The second thing that I found was um, yoga nidra and this idea of cognitive rest. Um, I prefer the term cognitive rest rather than mental rest because I think mental... Um, I don't know, when you say the word mental, you start talking about mental health and mental health is obviously related to all of this. Anyway, mental or cognitive rest, I prefer the term cognitive. Um, it's this idea of resting the brain as well as resting the body. So what I found was that, I mean, I wasn't good at resting at all. <laughs> it was not in my nature, not something that came naturally to me, not something that I liked doing. Um, but physical rest was a lot easier to gauge. So if you physically moved, then that's not physical rest. Um, so, you know, if you are, you know, moving in any way. So obviously exercise isn't rest. Um, but, you know, when we're talking about long COVID, we're talking about things like walking up the stairs, things like brushing your teeth. You know, they're very small things that can cause us, you know, huge amounts of um, of problems but because they are physical movement on some level I found it much easier to understand that that was exertion even though in my brain it shouldn't have been like brushing your teeth isn't exertion well actually <laughs> when you have long covid it is um, so so that that kind of you know was understandable to me the idea of cognitive rest that actually reading a book could cause you to crash or that being re reading emails having a conversation um thinking um this is all exertion but it's not exertion that's so easy to quantify for me it wasn't anyway so i would sort of lie on the sofa and be like oh, i'm resting but actually i wasn't because i might have been trying to read a book or trying to listen to an audiobook or even if i wasn't actually doing anything my brain was still going round and round in circles um you know i have a hamster wheel in my head all the time it just it's always thinking about something you know whether it's the things i should have done yesterday or the things i have to do tomorrow or what we're having for dinner or why is life so awful why is this happening to me you know all of these sort of thoughts that just go round and round and round our heads and some people have this ability to just switch that off and my partner is someone who's able to do this. He literally can sit down and it's like someone switches, you know, switches him off. And he can just kind of sit there and his face just sort of goes and and it's like, hello, are you there? And it is literally like he's switched off and he can turn his brain off. And I find it incredibly infuriating when he does it. But it's also it's a skill that he has that I just can't do. I cannot turn my brain off myself. And I think a lot of people are like this. So the yoga nidra was the way that I found that I could do this. So I couldn't do it just like that. But if I found a yoga nidra, then it did that. So yoga nidra is, it's a, it is a type of yoga. I mean, there's, there's loads of different types of yoga and, um, you know, a lot of them are movement based. You've got your, um, breath yoga, your pranayama, um, and your yoga nidra, which is kind of like magic yogic sleep. Um, so it doesn't involve any movement whatsoever. Um, you literally lie down, close your eyes, get comfortable, whether that's with a blanket or a cushion or in your bed, on your sofa, whatever works for you. I loved using a weighted blanket for this. I find that super comfy. Um, and basically you just stick your headphones on and lie still and that's it. You don't actually have to do anything. Um, and actually, you know, the whole idea is that you don't do anything. You just listen and it guides you. So it takes your brain away from all of the stuff you know, whatever the stuff is, you know, there's always, for me, there's always stuff. And, you know, it really does allow you to switch your brain off, you know, and your your attention will wander. Mine certainly did. Certainly to start with, I found it really difficult. You know, every couple of seconds, I'd be like, oh, that thing. 
And then it would be like, oh, for goodness sake, we're supposed to be doing yoga nidra. Come on, brain, let's do this. Um, and then it would, you know, it would wander off again. And, you know, it's just about then bringing your awareness back, you know, and not worrying about the fact that your mind has wandered because that happens and just bringing it back. And like any skill, I got better at it. So over time, my mind would wander less and, you know, I would find it easier and I would feel more relaxed as a result of it. But I never did a yoga nidra and didn't feel better afterwards. Um, you know, it wouldn't solve everything every time, but it would always help. And, you know, it's, it's actually really incredible. There's, there's studies into this and something like a 20 minute yoga nidra is equal to like four hours of sleep or something like that. So, you know, it, it's something that's useful as a kind of everyone tool, um, especially if you have a very busy mind, like a lot of us do, do, that actually if you maybe are stressed or busy, haven't had a very good night's sleep, actually taking out 20 minutes somewhere and just doing one of these yoga nidras will actually kind of really, really help. Um, and with long COVID, we often struggle with sleep, whether it's not getting enough restful sleep or not getting enough sleep at all, or just waking up, not feeling refreshed. So something like this can just be super, super helpful as a kind of top up or a boost or, I don't know, brain switch off. Um, so I found it amazing. Um, I still do them now, not as often as I did. Um, I don't feel like I need to do them as often as I did, but you know, it's just something that when I'm getting stressed or anxious or I've got some, you know, I'm really, really busy or whatever, it's just like, okay, should we just, should we just do 10 minutes of this? You know, maybe you don't need to do the big long one. Let's just take 10. Um, and let's just calm the brain, calm the body, chill out, switch off kind of thing. Um, so the one I used the app Insight Timer, this is what I always get asked, what yoga nidras did you do? Um, there's a free app called Insight Timer and you can download it. You, you can subscribe, but I never needed to. You know, there's hundreds and hundreds on there. Um, I think you get access to like courses and stuff if you subscribe, but I've never done them. Um, so the, the app itself is free. There's hundreds and hundreds on there. Um, loads and loads of different yoga nidras. Some of them have just the voice. Some of them have music or sound behind them. You can choose your preference. Some people like that. Some people don't. And um, yeah, I'll pop a link to that below. Um, and yeah, maybe you can share which ones you prefer and we can make a big list somewhere. Um, but yeah, yoga nidra, amazing.